Hello guys and welcome to another repair video. Uh, this is a little tool from uh, obvious from who. Um, you just slap a couple of batteries inside and then uh, you turn it on and you can uh, stir whatever drink you have. I don't know, probably some kind of coffee, cappuccino. I'm not that much of a coffee lover. I mean I drink it but just simple uh, instant coffee you know without all that uh, complicated uh, Starbucks stuff uh, obviously it's not a very good idea to uh, let water inside of it I mean you can clean this uh, metallic tip here but uh, uh, you know, not really the whole device I put it inside a, a cup uh, in the sink uh, and I know I took care of uh, not having any water uh, coming inside of it but somehow I think uh, some water did get inside and uh, obviously it's not working anymore also uh, there's a lot of gooey stuff that has been leaking out I'm not sure if that's from the batteries or if it's some kind of uh, lubricant that was used uh, I guess there should be a couple of gears in there. Anyway, we need to open it up and see uh, what the problem is. That thing is really weird. It's so gooey. It's almost like a like an adhesive. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a, a lubricant because it's not slippery at all. It's like a glue. To pry this thing open here. I try with a small pair of scissors, maybe. There you go. The same gooey stuff in here. Yeah, it's directly attached to the motor. The motor seems a bit corroded on the outside. But I'm not sure where all that gooiness comes from because it doesn't seem to be uh, coming from the motor I think and it's turning just fine I mean it, it doesn't seem to be there's the weird thing it's supposed to have a contact here and or is that the part that somehow you switch and does the switch work uh, it's kind of annoying that I didn't watch the way I got it out because I don't know was it just like that just the battery touching directly the motor contact yeah I think I'm gonna have to clean this up I'm not sure what I'm gonna use I think the problem is uh, this uh, contact blade here and uh, the metallic body of the motor because uh, they're pretty corroded and probably it doesn't uh, make contact anymore. Actually I can test the motor real quick. Just to check if the motor is spinning. That was a spin. And quite obviously it's working, so it's just a, a contact issue. I need to sand these down a little bit and remove all that rust and I'll be back. Okay, so now I washed all the components. Uh, hot water and uh, laundry detergent seem to work just fine. I still don't know what that was. It's kind of weird. Um, looking at how this is made, I think it's probably some kind of adhesive that was used uh, to hold this uh, top black plastic piece here because most of it is, is still in here. So anyway, let's get back to putting this thing back together uh, if I figure out how. I think this was 
in here like this. I have no idea why this piece of plastic is used on this little blade coming out of the motor and I thought it does something but I don't think so. I think the contact is on the outer shell of the of the motor and this thing just staying oh shut up somehow in here I'm not gonna lie, these things aren't uh, great quality build either. I'm not gonna be very happy with the quality build and then when you press uh, that thing presses down on the motor, the outside metal enclosure of the motor. I'm more worried about the batteries. Well, these would. It's kind of weird. I guess it works. Put the cap on. And. There you go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this thing has screws. I forgot. <laughs> and let's see now, it should be fine. Still a bit of noise, but that's. Definitely that black plastic sleeve I was talking about. Well, you know, in all fairness, it does spin, so... Um, just get plenty of this in. There's nothing that can uh, do any harm. But it does spin. I mean, it works. So, yeah, that was just a, a bit of corrosion. Obviously, this thing isn't uh, worth a hundred dollars, so it doesn't have any kind of waterproofing, any kind of rubber seals, anything like that. So it will uh, get destroyed by water. Yeah, and you can just, uh, you know, use it to stir your coffee. I guess thanks for watching and see you next time.